Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can encrypt the data in the data frame. So let's move on to the portal and see exactly how we can do that. And also remember to do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Among your friends who are working especially on the data engineering sites or who are also attending you know interviews so this my all my videos are actually really very helpful both in learning as well as you know for the interview purpose as well okay so coming on to encrypting the columns essentially uh, what i have done over here is in the command number two you can actually see i've just created a data frame right i have created a data frame named as df and these are the values some random values right and then i have converted it converted a sequence into the data frame and these are the columns that i have so let me just run this particular command so now this is my data frame which i have created now i want to make sure that i encrypt only the number and count right uh, randomly i'm just taking two columns which i want to encrypt so that's why i have created another uh, you know sequence where i'm saying another list where let me just run this where i'm saying okay that i want to hash only with the number and the count right i want to hash only two columns out of my whole data frame so that is why i have put those two columns in the hash columns over here now when i go down to command number four what i'm doing over here is i am going and i'm iterating through the list of columns in my data frame so if you see this df2 is nothing but my data frame which i have created above right this is the data frame that i have created and these are the columns so i'm iterating through my data frame and i'm checking whether the hash columns are present in my data frame or not if hash columns are present then in that case this if condition would run right and this if condition what it is trying to do it is trying to do a with column right with column we have already discussed in my past video videos that uh, you know with column is used to add additional column or you know to add an expression columns or if you want to add a null value if you want to add a string literal anything you can do with like with column so now using this with column i'm saying that add a column right with the name of the column with the same name as column and use this particular encryption so what encryption we are trying to use we are trying to use sha2 algorithm sha2 is nothing but it is kind of a family of algorithms so within sha2 you have sha256 as well now this sha is nothing but secure hashing algorithm so what does it do essentially is so let's say you have any kind of password right let's say you have this as a password now if you apply any kind of hash function or uh, you know a hash algorithm on top of this particular password so let me just write it let me say you apply any hash function then what will happen is it kind of generates a uh, you know a value which is a hashed value now in this case what essentially happens is since i am saying sha256 right so the output of uh, the hash function that will be produced or the hash value that will be produced that will be of 256 bits right so this is the uh, you know uh, uh, the significance of uh, you know 256 when I say 256 over here so it will take in the value it will kind of you know basically the hashed value you are going to get out of it which is mostly irreversible it cannot be reversed back so you have uh, the hashed value as an output when you want to mask any data when you don't want to show the uh, exact uh, you know the value of the data so in this case this is how you can actually implement sha256 you can simply write sha2 which is nothing but a function now this takes in your data frame value right data frame columns it takes in your data frame columns and then it generates a 256 bit of output right now this is the data frame which is generated with the hashed value and then what you can do is you can simply run a display command on this so now let me run this and it will give an error and i'll tell you why so now you can see that it says error not found value sha2 now what does this mean right so sha2 you actually need to import right it is not by default present in the databricks so uh, you know databricks runtime libraries it's not present 
you need to import it you know separately since uh, you know if you want to you you can import any of the functions which you are trying to use so we are not using concat over here so you can simply import call uh, or sha2 so these are the this is how you need to import it and after you import it you actually have to you know use it in the particular in this particular manner to okay we are using concat as well so let me just put in concat at the top so whenever you get such kind of error you should understand that you need to import that particular function now let me just simply run this now you will see that in the output data frame you have this number right you have this number and you have the word and you have the couch now you can see that these are the encrypted values right you have these values which are encrypted so this is how you can go ahead and encrypt columns in data breaks do let me know any questions if you have in the comment section and thank you so much for being till here and supporting me in this journey and do remember to like share and subscribe